just before the Royal BC Museum closed down its feature presentations on the third floor on January 2nd, 2022, permanently, permanently, I walked through the third floor. This is part two of Becoming BC. You're viewing Travels with Lobo, a new vlog published every Friday. Part one of Becoming BC was the early explorers. Part two deals with the early industries in Becoming BC, such as fur trading, fishing, mining, farming. Becoming BC industries, the first one is the fur trade. Together then, Indians and whites adopted European science to form a fur trade technology so efficient that by 1821, company officials insisted upon conservation of the beaver. Yes, the beaver, who knew, to preserve the industry. At this point, we come upon a diorama. A museum diorama is a three-dimensional miniature model. It's a, a beautiful diorama that puts you right into the scene. And it would have been nice to see something about fur trading here, but I don't see anything about fur trading. And right there, it goes to, yet Europeans were wise to copy native methods, snowshoes. Yeah, you got snowshoes there. Canoes and pemmican. No canoes, no pemmican. So I'm kind of puzzled at this and the fur trade. Here we are. By the way, nothing about the, uh, the Hudson Bay Company, which was the main, main fur trading company. Next, we come upon the Gold Rush era, 1849 to 1900. I would say nothing built early B.C. more than the Gold Rush era. I know that Victoria prospered as a town during the Gold Rush era. <music> At this point, you could walk into a coal mining operation. It was a cul-de-sac, uh, kind of dark, uh, dank. Uh, I always wondered about the safety in, in there. And maybe that's why they closed it. Maybe there was some hanky-panky going on in there. Who knows? Anyway, it was closed. Can't show it to you. Of course, when you're talking about early industries in British Columbia, having a terrific Pacific coast, that would be fisheries whaling and sealing.
And then we get into perhaps the most basic industry, farming. If you couldn't get into fishing, lumber, mining, well, almost anybody could get into farming. Yes, farming. And remember, to the early settlers, the land was probably free. Claim it and it's yours. And farming immediately throws us into the most famous diorama at the BC Museum. The scene is a farm in the Peace River region of British Columbia. It's beautiful. By the way, the diorama depicts the Tremblay Homestead, as I said, in the Peace River District, 1912. this idyllic scene, and it truly is idyllic, uh, we are thrown into the Port Moody Railway Station. Why Port Moody Railway Station? Because that was the end of the Transcontinental Railway. The first Transcontinental Railway was built by Canadian Pacific Railways. The last spike marked that on November the 7th, 1885. And from there, we enter into magical Old Town and the Grand Hotel. It's a classic. Thank you for viewing. Uh, join me next Friday as I walk through the jewel of the museum, I would say. Uh, that's Old Town and the Grand Hotel. I'm using the word jewel a lot, but this is it. Thank you for viewing. See you next week.